all starts with an image, with a source of energy and the reproduction of it. Whether it be visible light forming a simple image like this camera obscura, using only an aperture, lens, and screen, or something more complex like digital images and moving images captured by our phones and cameras. Images are all around us, produced by the billions each day. But imaging science isn't photography. It's a fusion of technology and science and everything involved with recording, processing, displaying, and analyzing image data. I've studied it for the past three years and I've come to one conclusion. It's everywhere. Let me explain. Have you ever unlocked your phone with a fingerprint, posted a picture or video called a friend? Are you watching this on some type of screen? Do you like movies or have you even seen one in 3D? Have you ever wondered how video game movements can look so real? From the macro to the micro, or invisible to the visible, outer space and underwater, or deep inside your body to underneath a priceless painting. All of these systems were designed at least in some part by imaging science. But that's just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, some of the applications that could come from it. But it's not just about taking pictures. There are many components to consider when creating an image, so let's ask some imaging scientists for their opinion. So imaging science is a multidisciplinary area uh, involving um, disciplines related to the capture or formation of images in various media, the processing of them, uh, the output and rendering of them, and finally the viewing of them by uh, humans or machines. To me, um, imaging science is uh, the, um, the, the, the science, the understanding, the technology behind uh, imaging. Um, it, it includes the observer, understanding how the observer perceives images, the scenes, and their understanding of, of what is picture that has good quality to it or what it doesn't have. And it is the, the science of, of capturing that image, so creating an image that is pleasing. It is also the science of taking that image, processing it, and producing uh, an analysis of the image that perhaps wouldn't be immediately obvious, so enhancing the image and analysing the image. So imaging science isn't just one thing. To understand what it is, we must consider the different disciplines and occupations that are needed to create, process, view and interpret any image. It blends aspects of maths, physics, engineering and computer science and is often thought of as a chain used to describe all the elements involved in creating an image. From the subject, so the scene that is being captured, the development of the imaging technology, the processing software and optimization, the way the image will be displayed, and how people view, judge, and perceive it. So an, an imaging chain um, is, uh, again, very related to image science. Um, an imaging ch chain starts with the observer. The observer perceives colors, structure, shapes in the objects, lightness, tone, contrast. So they're an important aspect. We then have the, the scene itself. What are the range of the wavelengths of light that we are imaging? Are they within the visible? Are they ultraviolet or infrared? What is the structure in the scene? Imaging sort of very fine patterns like the sort of herringbone pattern on, on, on a suit jacket, which could give problems. Or are we just, you know, capturing pictures of the sky and clouds and something very sort of an object that doesn't contain much much detail what is the range of lightnesses in the scene is it a very bright scene does it contain very bright areas very very dark areas or is it very low in contrast or very low light then we have the, the process of creating an image and this then involves the optical side the lens and then the image capture so this could be an image sensor or um, it could be film once we have the the, the, the captured image we then are involved with the processing of that image. And the processing is important so that we can transform the image into a form that can be viewed, essentially. Then we have the final stage, which is the display. And this can be either as a, as a print or on, on a computer monitor. It can be also the analysis results. It could be numbers, it could be information. If you have a maybe a robotic camera arm, the, the images can be used also to guide the the, the robot arm performing certain tasks uh, as you would have in a manufacturing situation. Imagine science is all, all around you. If you think of the, the snapshots you are taking every day with your mobile or you are looking in the internet or um, 
if we move from that to videos and television, uh, again, um, engineers working on systems are part of the imaging science community. And then we move into medical imaging. There are modalities such as CT scans and MRI scans, which are understood by imaging scientists specializing in, in medical imaging. Satellite imaging, looking at the Earth and, and the stars and the galaxies are part of it, so they are really everywhere. Uh, it's, it's, it's an area that is, allows you to be very creative. It's an area where there is still a lot of work to be done. Um, and it has many uh, different ways it can be applied. I, I think there's, there's still, we've got a long way to go. Imaging science. It's not an easy thing to describe when it's a subject that interacts with so much of the world we live in, the things we use, and the stuff that surrounds us. When we think about taking pictures, watching TV, medical devices that save lives, technology that keeps us safe, or microscopes, telescopes, and satellites that explain our universe to us, we don't often think about the number of people and specialists it takes to create just one of these systems. So maybe it's a confusing term at first, imaging science, but it all starts to make sense when we begin to understand the immense amounts of technology, people, and science that combine to image our world and create our future.